DDL or Data Definition Language. It is the language we use to manipulate the database and its tables. In this video, we will discuss how to manipulate a table using queries in a database. We will be using Microsoft Access to run queries. Open Microsoft Access, create a blank database, Just close the default table, go to the Create tab, find and click Query Design, select SQL View, and that's where we will create and run the queries. Create Table. There are two ways on how to create a table. First is just Create Table and then Table Name. This would simply create a table without columns inside. Do not forget to add a semicolon at the end of every query or statement. Let's try the first example. We'll create table sample. There, table sample was created. In MS Access, we won't be able to open a table without columns. What we did is just create a table without columns. Second syntax on how to create a table is create table, table name, open and close parentheses with column names and data type inside. Data type could be an integer, varchar, double, etc. We can also add constraints here, such as primary key, auto increment, not null, and so on. Let's make book ID as the primary key and change the in data type to auto increment so that whenever we enter data to the table, the primary key would increase by itself. Those numbers inside the open and close parentheses of a bar chart represents the size or length of the characters the column will accept from the user. Let's create table books and try this. Let's execute the query. Let's open table books and try encoding values. Do not add value to book ID as it would increment automatically if we enter values to book title. That's the effect of auto increment. And that's create table. Drop table. Drop table is the query we use to delete a table. Syntax is simple. Drop table table name. Don't forget to close the table before running another query. Let's delete table underscore sample using this syntax. See, table sample was removed. That's drop table. Alter table. There are three things we can do with alter table. Add, delete, and modify columns. First is alter table add column. This is used to add columns to the table. Syntax is simple. Alter table, table name, add column, and then column name. Let's follow the example and add book description as column to table books. Let's open table books and try adding values to it. There, book description was added. Remember that book description column is just varchar 5, meaning the column will only accept 5 characters. Next is alter table, alter column. Syntax is alter table, table name, alter column, column name. It is used to modify the data type of a column in a table. Let's modify book description and make it varchar 10. Make sure to write the correct column name. Let's open table books and try to modify the values on book description. Book description can now accept 10 characters. See? I can now encode 10 characters to the column. Last is alter table drop column. Syntax is alter table, table name, drop column, column name. This would simply delete the column from the given table. Let's try the sample query and delete book description.
Let's open the table. There, book description was deleted. And that's alter table. 